What's up guys, my name is Hong and uh, welcome to OG Fitness. A, uh, here we're all about a smart and more uh, sustainable approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys. Right? Um, when I talk about older guys, I mean guys for about 30 years and over. I'm actually 39, so you know. Um, okay, so today what I want to talk to you guys about is this uh, little piece of equipment that I have here in my hands. It's my new favorite thing and it's called a balance disc. And um, the reason I started using this thing is that I busted my knee uh, while doing judo because, you know, that's my sport. And so I started doing physio and my physio made me realize that, you know, it's not all about brute strength, you know? So when you wanna, when you wanna get your legs strong, right? You go to the gym, you do squats, you do lunges, you do leg presses, so your muscles get big, they get strong but it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna carry you over uh, into performance on the field or on the mats or on the court or whatever sport you're doing. So it's not just about brute strength, there's also an element of balance to it. So it's actually really important. There's balance, uh, there's stability, there's motor control, and your reflexes in general, okay? So this covers all of that. So. Imagine, okay, just, just the logic of this. If you're able to stand on this thing right here, I mean, this, it's a disc, you know, it's soft, it has air in it, it's unstable as, as hell, seriously. And uh, if you're able to, to do your squats on this, to do your lunges, to, uh, to keep your balance on it, to move around, jump on it, jump off it, I mean, imagine what you could do on a flat surface, you know? So that's how this carries over. And at the same time, it, it, it just makes your legs so much stronger and more stable, you know? And, and it, it makes you react better, you know? That's where the motor control comes in. So I'm gonna show you four exercises, okay, that I, that I, do, that I did for my physio, that I'm still doing actually, because I, I think it's gonna help me tremendously in judo, and, and it has. So here are the exercises, check it out. I actually bought two of these, so, uh, because I wanted to do my squats. I found that if you try to do squats on this one disc right here, I mean, your legs are so close together. And I mean, they're, they're not expensive. We're talking about like 15 bucks here for, for one, you know? So you buy two, it's 30 bucks, whatever, right? So, two discs right here. I put them on the ground. There right, you go, you come on it. And you see how it moves, so you already, you have to keep your balance. And then let's say you want to do your squat, so you hinge here at the hip, you know, so you push your, your, your butt back, okay? And you got to keep your balance at the same time. So then, you know, like all your stabilizing muscles are working here. All right? And trust me, this is so much harder and so much more of a leg workout than just doing your squats on the ground. If you do it on a flat surface, I mean, it's, it's really easy, right? But, you know, if, if that's too easy for you, then you should really give this a shot. So now the second one, the second exercise that I do is that I balance myself on one leg. So I get on one leg here and you just keep your balance. This is harder than it looks. It took me, you know, it took me a while. It took me a, a week before I really Started getting the head. Now, I mean, I could talk and I can move around. But once this gets too easy, what you do is you start simulating a movement that, uh, that's required in your sport. So if you're playing, uh, uh, let's say, soccer or, you know, football, European football. So you kick, right? There you go. So you, you do this. And you could, the faster and more jerky movement, the more it's going to be harder to keep your balance. So you just work on that. For me, me example, for me, uh, I do judo. So this is one move, one of my favorite moves is uh, Osoto Gary. So it's basically a, a outer major trip and this is the movement right here. So imagine I'm doing this on a balance disc. So if I'm on the ground and I'm fighting my opponent, you know, I'll be, I'll be pretty stable when I do my, my thing, right? So now another exercise you could do is, this is to work your uh, proprioception. And what you do is that you stand on one leg, now you close your eyes. Now as soon as you close your eyes, it gets really hard. So that's another exercise that, um, that I started doing. 
And uh, what I came to realize is that, uh, well actually my, my physio made me realize this, is that your balance has basically three, three senses that really take care of your balance. So your, your hearing, uh, your sight, and your proprioception. Proprioception is when you close your eyes and you still know where your arms and your legs and your head, like where, where it is in space, you know, even though your eyes are closed. So me personally, like uh, I think most people too, they're very weak in proprioception. You know, that's why like you're okay like this. As soon as you close your eyes, you're probably going to fall off with, you know, until you get used to it and you get better. So if you develop that, I mean, it's going to carry over in sport also. So now the other exercise that I do, right? The last one is that, um, actually you start off, you can start off with two and jump on it and keep your balance. But you know, I'm, I'm a little bit more advanced. So I just jump on it with one leg. So let me just show you, boom. And you gotta stay on top for you know three to five seconds. Let me show you how it looks from here. This is the this. Boom. You see? So there you go. So does that make sense? Do you guys see how this could actually carry over to you know when you're running, you're jumping, you know, you're landing on one leg. I mean, if you're able to stabilize on this. Fuck, it ain't gonna be a problem stabilizing on a flat surface. And uh, those are the three, what is that? Three or four exercises that I do for, for the balance disc, right? And uh, one other thing that I've heard people do is, instead of uh, replacing their chair with a yoga ball, they'll just take this disc here, which is, you know, more compact. I mean, you could, you know, you could bring this with you and just go to work with it. And you put it, uh, you put it instead of, you put it on your chair. So then you sit on it. So now by sitting on it, this, you know, it's the same thing as if you were sitting on a yoga ball, except you don't have to bring in a yoga ball, right? And um, what it does is that by, by sitting on this, you're, you're forcing your, your, um, your stabilizing muscles, your core, you know, to, to, to help you support your back. Uh, I guess you, but if you're leaning back, then it probably won't work. But I mean, if you just want to, you have a chair with a backrest, but you don't want to be, you know, just like leaning on, on your chair all the time. Then you put this, you sit on it, and then, you know, you're, you're simulating like sitting down on yoga ball. So it could be good for your back too. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.